<sighs> we got to talk about it and we got to go back to Florida, y'all. Does anyone, before we get started, why do you think I got to go back to Florida? Not literally, but as far as stories go, why do you think I'm going back to Florida? Someone write in the chat. We are going to go, we're going back to Florida. Why am I going back to Florida? Put it in the chat. Why do you think we are going back to Florida again? Lala Papa said, leave my state alone. I can't. It's a lot of stuff that just comes out of that state, especially this, what I'm about to talk about. Winnie Wall says the Satan. Miss Renee said the Santis, the governor, Ron DeSantis. Who, <laughs> who in this chat <laughs> heard about this? Y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Let me zoom in right quick because I need y'all to see this. I need y'all to be locked in. Y'all see this right here? What does it say? DeSantis signs bill requiring AAPI history in Florida schools. Let me zoom out because I don't need to be that close. What the hell just happened? Okay. Yeah. The Santa signs bill requiring AAPI history in Florida schools. I when I first saw this last night, I said, "Who's pocket? Who's who's in his pockets? How much money he getting for this?" He said, "Miss Renee said, what is AAPI? That is the Asian American Pacific Islanders." Now, keep in mind, this is the same guy that is so-called anti-CRT. He created the Stop Woke Act, quote-unquote. Despite how many people feel about it, that whole African-Americans curriculum thing, because of what was allegedly in it, done went and did this. Now, granted, when it comes to black people teaching our history... I always say some of the best education you can get from this is at home. I'm going to be honest. I learned a lot of my history outside of the classroom. However, this is blatant hypocrisy right here. Simone said there's money in it. I'm Listen, this man ain't doing nothing for free. Okay. He always has a, there's always going to be some mean green behind something he does. Now, this is my first time going to read this article because when I pulled this article up, the first thing I did because it was on Yahoo was go to the comment section. I didn't even read it. So this will be my first time reading this article. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has signed a bill that mandates the inclusion of Asian American and Pacific Islander or AAPI history in the state's K-12 through curriculum. I'm curious what's going to be in that curriculum. I need to know. I would love to know what is going to be in that curriculum. Because when they brought up about the African-American studies thing, they immediately went through that with a fine-tooth comb, but I haven't seen anyone go through this with a fine-tooth comb yet unless they haven't put it out there. The general education bill, which includes other new requirements in the sector, will specifically require the teaching of the incarceration of Japanese Americans in World War II, the immigration, citizenship, civil rights, civil rights, civil rights, identity and culture of AAPIs and the group's contribution to American society. That's an overview of what's going to be in there. And shout out to Kid Gravity Beyond for being a member for 13 months. He says, what have I said about the American races? They will say, do something, and within 10 seconds, own themselves. Exactly. And y'all, this is the guy that wants to be president. Now, when you think about this, this description, if you switch all of this around and you mentioned stuff about specifically what happened to black people, Ron the Snowflake would call it woke. By his own standards of woke, quote unquote, wouldn't this fall under that category? Because I, I swear that it would. 
At least I believe it does. Let me continue. Tuesday's signing makes Florida the first Republican-led state to pass such a law. Mimi Chan, director of Make Us Visible Florida, the local chapter of a nonprofit that pushes for the inclusion of AAPI studies in public schools, led the effort in, led for two years to make it happen. It took a lot of work and determination in order to get this passed. Two years, y'all. Two years. I got a question for the chat. We're going to test that memory. What happened two years ago in 2021? What happened two years ago? I'm going to see if y'all memory, if y'all, y'all, if y'all noodle is working. Not, not that chosen one. Not, no, not the lockdown. Denzema's got it. The anti-Asian hate crime bill. The anti-Asian hate crime bill happened two years ago. How ironic that they began working on this two years ago, the same year they got that bill passed. I don't know. Is that a coincidence or not? Nah? Y'all let me know. It took a lot of work and determination in order to get this passed, Chan said. According to the independent Florida alligator, Asian American history is American history. See, now they're taking our lines. Remember, we always say black American history is American history. Now they said Asian American history is American history. Shout out to Keith Lee Petway for the $10 super chat. 275 crimes committed against VS. Versus 2,075, 755 crimes committed against. Yet black people still got nothing. Appreciate the super chat. Chan said their organization will be monitoring its development. High school student Jake Leaf, who was part Chinese, said he did not learn a lot about this co his culture growing up. While he may not be in class anymore when the lessons begin, he is thrilled for future generations. Well, my thing is this. Uh, you didn't have any parents at home that was willing to teach you? I'm excited for people like my little sister and people like that to just learn more about Asian culture and have that experience that I wasn't able to fully get. So it'll be really cool that they're able to experience that. While DeSantis has advanced AAPI representation with the passing of the bill, the Florida governor has also banned Chinese citizens from buying land in a separate legislation. An exception is reserved for Chinese visa holders who may own one home as long as they are registered with a state agency. Devin Edwards asked the million dollar question. He says, what did they do? That's why I'm curious to see what's in this curriculum. I need to know. They kind of briefly went over it. They talked about what World War II. It says immigration, citizenship, civil rights, identity, and culture. But if black people say we need our history taught in the proper context outside of just Black History Month and how they like to bootleg that, then it's considered woke. That's why black people, you got to teach your own history. We have to teach our own history. That's why I do the Black Massacre series on my channel, because a lot of those stories that I do weekly, many of y'all don't know about. That's why I actually put like a, as a poll to see how many of y'all have heard some of these of some of these massacres. It was actually very in, uh, refreshing when I did the recent one about the Chicago one, how many people had knew about that uh, versus those who didn't. But yeah, I wanted to bring that to y'all because some of y'all probably didn't even know that this story existed. And I'll understand because it just got posted yesterday. <laughs>